Welcome. In this video, we will discuss relational operators. So there is six relational operators, the first being equal to, and that looks like two equal signs together. The next is not equal to, and that looks like an exclamation point and an equal sign together. We then have less than, which is an opening angle bracket. We also have less than or equal to, which is a opening angle bracket and an equal sign. And we have greater than, which is a closing, closing angle bracket, and greater than or equal to, which is a closing angle bracket and an equal sign. So let us look at some examples of these relational operators. These examples will be of integers, floats, and doubles. So the first example is this expression, which means 5.5 .5 is equal to 5.5. .5. And that is a true expression. The next one would be this expression using the not equals operator, which says 6 is not equal to 6. And we know that they are equal, so this is a false expression. The next one being the less than operator. And this means 8 is less than 15, which we know to be true, so this is a true Op expression and then we have the less than or equal to operator and this expression means 5.9 is less than or equal to 7.5 which is a true expression we have the greater than operator and this expression means 2.5 is greater than 5.8 which is a false expression because 2.5 is less than 5.8 and we also have the greater than or equal to operator. And this expression is saying 12.4 is less than or equal to 12.4, which is a true statement because they are equivalent. We can now look at these relational operators with characters. This first expression is checking if this character A is equivalent to this character B. How does it do it? It ties these back to their ASCII table decimal values and then checks the expression based off of those decimal values. So in this expression, A is 65 and B is 66 in ASCII. This converts the expression to 65 is equal to 66, which is false. So this expression is false. And then... When we use the not equal operator, since A is 65 and B is 66 in ASCII, it converts it to 65 is not equal to 66, which is a true expression. We then have the space character is less than or equal to the lowercase a character. And the space character is 32 and the lowercase a character is 97. So this converts this expression over here to being 32 is less than or equal to this should be less than or equal to 97 which is true so this is a true expression and then we have this final expression here which is the capital r is greater than or equal to the capital t well the capital r is 82 in ascii and the capital t is 84 in ascii and that converts the expression to, again, this should be greater than or equal to instead of just greater than. So this is 82 is greater than or equal to 84, which is false because 82 is less than 84. So this expression is false. Now, let's take a look at these relational operators when used with strings. So the first two strings we want to compare is hello and hi. And... So the first two characters of these strings are both capital H's. So we move on to the second character, which is E and I. E of hello is less than I of hi. So this E is less than I. And that makes this statement true. The next one we want to look at is the strings hello and hen. The first two characters of these two strings, H 
E, capital H, E, are the same, but then the third character, L, and the third character, N, are different. So we need to compare those letters. So we look at it, and since the L is less than the N, then L is not greater than N, so this expression is false. Now, let us look at the, ex the word hello and hello with them, the difference being the capital H and the lowercase h. So, this first character, H, is less than this first character, lowercase h, because the ASCII value of capital H is 72 and the ASCII value of little h is 104. Therefore, these two values are different and they cannot be equivalent if they have different values. So this expression is false. And let us look at this example with Bill and Billy. Bill has four characters and Billy has five characters. Therefore, Bill is shorter than is the shorter string. And all four characters of Bill are the same as the corresponding first four characters of Billy, B-I-L-L. -L. And Billy is the larger string. Therefore, Bill cannot be greater than or equal to Billy because, again, Bill is smaller than Billy. So this expression is false. And lastly, we have now, since we have added some operators on, there is a change in the precedence of operators from the beginning of class. And this is the new precedence. We have the unary plus and minus operators. We then have multiplication, division, and modulus. We then have the binary addition and subtraction. And then we have our greater or our less than, our less than or equal to, our greater than, our greater than or equal to operator. And then we have the equal to operator or the not to equal to operator. And at the bottom of the precedence ladder is the assignment operator. And that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next